Hello friends, and welcome to The Hanged Man in the Moon. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm pleased to meet you. If you've been here before, thank you for returning. I'm truly honored. Friends, I'm doing a VR, a video response to a hashtag uh, that I saw on a wonderful channel that I highly recommend. It's called The Curated Shelf. The creator of the content's name, I believe, is either Neha or Niha. Please correct me in the comments below. I've never actually heard her speak her name, I don't think. I've seen it, but I don't think I've heard it. Um, she got this hashtag from another wonderful creator called Gishka at Artekracht Earth Power. And there will be a link to the original video also below in the description box. And the hashtag for this video is you in the tarot. So we're going to use two different decks. One deck that I will select deliberately cards that I believe represent me to the world. And from a second deck, I'm going to shuffle and draw at random responses to the same prompts. There are five prompts. The first prompt is how society sees me. The second prompt is how my family sees me. The third prompt is how my friends see me. The fourth prompt is how I think, how I want to be seen by the world. And the fifth prompt is who am I really? So if you're interested, let's dive into this hashtag together. I think this is going to be fun. So I decided for the first round, I'm going to use my first edition of the Intuitive Tarot by Conway, by, um, oh my gosh, I know her name so well. Her name is Silla Conway. Okay, so my first selection for what I think the world society sees me as is the emperor. This whole deck is gorgeous. It's beautiful. The second edition has black borders, if you're curious, which I also like. Uh, but I've got my precious first edition here. The Emperor. Why did I choose this? Um, for two reasons, maybe. One is that the Emperor is ruled by Mars. Um, do we see Mars in this, in this image? I don't really see Mars here very clearly. Um, but... Mars is one of the planets of Scorpio, and Scorpio is my rising or ascendant moon, no, my, my ascendant sign, my ascendant moon. Um, so that's one reason, yeah, Scorpio. Also death, but I don't think people see me as that transformative. I think people see me as a little bit rigid, a little bit um, focused on rules and focused on doing the right thing. I think people see me as a little bit, a little bit, I want to say not necessarily cold, but I think society sees me as a little bit frightening, a little bit someone to be cautious of, a little bit perhaps controlling. Um, and those are some aspects of the emperor. The emperor to me is also many other things. The emperor is the male, the active version of creation within structure. And I think that's also an aspect of me because I'm creative, but I'm creative within structure. I like to have a structure to create within. Um, and so, yeah, I think society sees me a little bit like the emperor. Not that I have his power, but that I perhaps aspire to be the emperor. The next card. How does my family see me? I think my family sees me as the fool. The fool. Why the fool? I think they see me as being somewhat irresponsible because they don't actually know the extent of the responsibilities that I have. Yeah, My family, when I say my family, I'm not just talking about my mother, but my family, yeah? my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, all of them. Yeah? When I think of my family, because my, my what, nuclear family is now down to one person, my mother. <laughs> so when I said think of family now, 
I'm really thinking of the extended family, aunts, uncles, cousins, second cousins, etc. So I think they see me as being irresponsible, perhaps, perhaps not settled, perhaps not um, having reached much. I mean, my mother tells them all the wonderful things that she thinks that I have done, but still, I'm not conforming to their standards of what a settled adult male should be doing. So I think they kind of see me as a vagabond, a fool, um, the one who's off on their own, not really thinking of other people, not settled, and a little bit perhaps irresponsible. So, the next card. How my friends see me. And when I'm thinking of friends right now, I'm thinking of my friends in the United States because they're the ones who I think who have known me the longest, who have known me through my time of theater and know me now. <clears throat> and perhaps they've seen my development as well, my change. I've changed a lot over the last 30 plus years. So, I think that they see me as the Queen of Cups, which is also my MBTI card. Yeah? The Queen of Cups is my, the representation of my MBTI. And I think they see me as compassionate, as perhaps loving, as emotional, um, as someone who wants to connect emotionally and to care for other people. Now, I think my friends in the United States have an actually elevated perception of me. Yeah, this is one of the cards that I would aspire to, frankly. And at least the way they speak to me, at least the way they say that they see me, they see me kind of Queen of Cupsy. I don't think I am. I don't think I've gotten there yet, but um, that's how they seem to think of me, at least on Facebook. Can we trust Facebook entirely? Maybe. So I think they see me as the Queen of Cups. And this card is beautiful, yeah? Exposed, vulnerable. That's what I want to be, a little bit, but not entirely, because the next card is, how do I want to be perceived? And I want to be perceived, really, as the High Priestess. This is someone I have really aspired to be most of my life, I think. And when I think of the High Priestess, I know a lot of people see the High Priestess as someone who protects secret knowledge or who stands as a barrier between us and knowing, deep knowing, well, knowing um, arcane knowledge or spiritual knowledge or wisdom of the ages or our unconscious. They see her as a gatekeeper, a secret holder. And I don't see her that way. I see, see her as one who will guide us to that. And yes, she if we're not ready, she won't open the door because we're not ready. But if we are ready to to gain a certain level of deeper knowledge of ourselves, of spirituality, of spirit, of the divine. She's ready to open the door for us. And that's who I want to be. I want to be not the gatekeeper, but the guide that I see the high priestess as being. The soft, loving, emotionally connected, spiritual guide. Isn't that a lovely card? So, who am I really? I mean, this is what I think who I, who I am really. I think who I am really is the Queen of Swords. And I've looked at a couple of decks. I wanted to pick cards from other decks. Actually, I was thinking of using other decks. I was thinking of using the Ancestral Path Tarot because it's a large deck of cards with very large images. But... When I saw the Queen of Swords in that deck again, after a while, I remembered that that Queen of Swords is kind of a, a sweet, loving Queen of Swords. And I think that the Queen of Swords can be kind, can be playful, can be funny. The Queen of Swords has a sense of humor. I have a sense of humor. 
but it's not the sense of humor of, for example, perhaps the the Queen of Cups, who would have a gentle, loving, warm sense of humor. The sense of humor of the Queen of Swords is a little bit, sh is, well, is very sharp, is biting, a little bit like, do you know Dorothy Parker? Yeah? Um, one of the lines that I remember of hers is, girls who wear glasses, men never make passes at girls who wear glasses. For the 1920s, that was a little bit, a little bit, I don't want to say bitter, but a little cutting. Her poetry had cutting humor, very sharp. And she's an example I think of when I think of the Queen of Swords. Yeah? She has clear thinking. She's very independent thinking. And she can be a little bit cold and reserved. And I think this is really who I am. I might not be as smart as her, but I think that's who I am, a queen of swords in the making. I need to learn a little bit more, perhaps. But I'm not the knight of swords. Yeah, I'm not that active, although I can be reactive. I'm not that active. I'm not the page of swords. I'm not the king. I don't have that long range vision, that cool, level headed, clear sight. I'm not that. I'm more queen of swords, I believe. Okay, so now to the next step. I decided because I am a little bit Queen of Swordsy and I do have a quirky sense of humor, I am going to use my borderless deviant moon for the next stage where I let the tarot tell me who I am, how people see me and who I am. And um, let's see what comes up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle and I will pull a card for each, but I will return the card to the deck because I think there's a great possibility, maybe, that the same card could come up for more than one position, yeah? Um, the world may actually see me as I actually am. They could be the same card. My friends may actually see me the way I want to be seen. They could come up as the same card. So. I'll put the cards back in the deck and let's see how it goes. So here I am shuffling the deck. I've done a preliminary shuffle already, um, but I'll do a quick shuffle to pull the first card. Let's see, I am a riffle shuffler, just so you know. And so that's what I'm doing here below. I'm doing a short riffle shuffle. First, I'll do a, an overhand, one overhand. I love this deck. I love this deck to pieces. This is my inner child deck. A lot of people see this as a shadow deck, but this is my inner child deck. I see my little young Derek self in this deck. Here we go shuffling. One. Two. Three. I thought of turning the camera down so that you could see the table, but since I'm going to be putting these cards back and pulling them back out again, I won't have much to leave on the table. So I decided to do it similarly to the way that the beautiful creator at the curated shelf did it. Oops, here we go. That was not a jumper. I don't really read jumpers anyways, to tell you the truth, because my shuffling skills are not excellent. Here we go. So, uh, again, I'm sorry. How does society see me? 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 This is going to be very interesting. And I think I would believe, whoa, like, okay, so, like I said, not the greatest shuffler. <laughs> Here we go. How does society see me? And what I got was the world. Now that's surprising. That is definitely so surprising. 
the society society apparently sees me as a completion person, a person of wholeness, a person of having come to a, 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 the, the, the end of one cycle and the beginning of another cycle. This is a card of transition as well as success. Yeah? I guess society sees me as successful and also in transition perhaps to a new stage of life, which is possible, I suppose. I wouldn't have thought that. I really do think that people see me as a little bit unnerving, as perhaps a little bit perhaps cold. And I don't get any of that from the world card, even in the Deviant Moon. Yeah, there she is. She's got her wand. She's dancing. I've, I've made it, baby, kind of feel to her, right? Um, we've got my Leo down here at the bottom. My sun sign is Leo. My moon is rising, in case you're curious. Um, so I've got my Leo down here. I don't have my Pisces up here. At, well, I've got a fish. Sometimes, I guess, Pisces could be a fish as well. Kind of scaly. Kind of a water snake. So, the world. What do you think? Do you see me as the world society? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so, putting this card back in the deck. And let's see what my family actually thinks of me. What does my family think of me? How does my family see me? How does my family see me? Do they see me as foolish as I think they see me? Do they see me as irresponsible as it sometimes sounds like they see me? Or am I misunderstanding them? Let's see what the cards have to say. How does my family see me? And the cards say... Okay! Oh! My, my family sees me as the Queen of Swords. Interesting. They see me as being perhaps reserved, as being perhaps smarter than I thought think that I am. Uh, perhaps, um, yeah, independent, sure. Okay, so they got that independent thing here, but my family sees me as the Queen of Swords. Very interesting. Which, because I am the baby of my generation. Yeah, for all of my cousins, the people born around the same time, I was the last. The first is about 10 years older than me, and the me, the last. So I was always the baby of the family until I went away to college. I'd been the eternal baby for most of my life as a young person um, until they, my other cousins started having babies of their own. Um, so I'm surprised by this. I'm very, very surprised by this. But it is interesting that they see me the way I think I actually am. That's an interesting um, resonance there. So let's see what my friends think of me. Do they actually think that I'm as warm and caring and intuitive as they seem to say that I am on Facebook? Do they have another impression of me? What do my friends think of me? How do my friends see me? How do my friends see me? So we went from the world to the Queen of Swords. How do my friends see me? I think they used to see me as the Knight of Swords when I was like in my 20s. How do they see me now? Ooh, okay. They see me as the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. I kind of like that. I like that youthful feeling to it. Um, I can get that. I get that a little bit. I do understand that a little bit. Um, people do see me. My friends in the United States have compared me to Dorian Gray from time to time. Uh, jokingly. Um, 
and uh, so they they see me as aging at a slower pace than them, which is interesting. Um, so maybe that's where the paginess comes in. But also interesting that they see me as someone who is eager to learn, who wants to figure things out, who wants to use their brain and their knowledge and gain knowledge and explore and discover um, educationally. That's very interesting. I wouldn't have thought Page of Swords from the way that they talk to me. Um, and you notice in this card, the light coming out of the eye, yeah, searching the darkness for new tidbits, for new information, for new insight. Okay, I'll buy that. Sure. So, dear tarot deck, what do you say my aspiration actually is? Am I fooling myself? Is my wanting to be the high priestess my self-delusion? Do I actually want to be someone else? How do I really, really want to be seen by the world? I had a dream. Not a dream. I'm sorry. I had a vision in a meditation a long time ago, a long time ago, um, of an old but healthy, a vibrant but old woman in a cloak, yeah, a hooded cloak, um, something like uh, the common vision of a crone, but a healthy looking crone, yeah, uh, not youthful face, not the mother face, a wise older face, but smooth skin, yeah, um, devoid of wrinkles, like a long time meditator. And I thought that that is the image that I wanted to develop into. Yeah, that's the kind of person I want to develop into. Yeah, the crone, a vibrant, healthy, creative crone, if that makes sense to you. So, but how do I really want society to see me? Or how do I really want the world to see me? Ooh, now that is interesting. We've got the eight of... The Eight of Wands. Very interesting. We got the Eight of Wands. I want society to think of me as passionate and active and getting things done and creating things. Now, this card is very interesting, right? We've got eight. Yeah, that's eight. It's not nine. This card looks a little bit like the Nine of, so of Wands to me because normally in the Nine of Wands, you see usually a guy bandaged standing, holding one wand with eight wands behind, kind of defensive, yeah? A little bit, I'm still here and I'm still going, but I've got my, I've got my boundary set up for myself, taking care of myself because I've been through a lot. But these wands here, she's getting ready to harvest, I suppose, yeah? And instead of the wands flying through the air, we've got this woman, a crone, <laughs> kind of a, a vibrant, healthy-looking crone. So maybe there's something in that. We've got a raven delivering a message. I like that. Yeah, message from spirit. So, okay. So we've got some of the elements of the high priestess here in my mind. Yeah, we've got the wise woman. We've got message from spirit. Yeah, Odin's raven. That's all there. And vibrant and active and getting things done. I can see that. Maybe that is the way that I want the world to see me in this deck, more so than, for example, the Rider Waite Smith deck of just these eight sticks flying through the air. That makes sense. That does make sense. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Wands. Now, finally, who am I really? <laughs> that, this is something that will be very, very interesting. Who am I really? Who, whoops. Okay. Not a jumper, but a flipper. <laughs> Flips to the sun card, by the way. Don't think I'm really the sun card. Duh. Okay, so who am I really? 
Who am I really? Do three, one, two. I riffle shuffle pretty well. It's the overhand where I, I usually mess up. That's why I love to riffle shuffle a good, a good card stock because I have no accidents. When I overhand, things go flying. Okay, so who am I really? Now, even this deck, which is wonderful cardstock, sometimes goes flying if I'm not fully concentrating. Who am I really? Who am I really? Am I the Queen of Swords? Really? Let's see. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Boy, am I bass backwards. I'm really the fool. <laughs> My fam, the way I think my family sees me is actually right. I am the fool. I'm constantly on a journey. I'm constantly moving on. I'm constantly starting something new. I'm constantly, um, yeah, moving on. Now that is so interesting. That is so interesting. We got two cards that were the same. Now the Queen of Wands came up. Now the way I think I actually am is the way my family actually sees me. The way I think my family sees me is actually the way I am. So let me go back and pull what the deck said that I am. The deck said I am the fool. The deck said I want to be, I want to be seen as the eight of wands. Let me see if I can get that out here. Let me pause this for just a moment. Okay, we're back. It took me a second to, well, it took me a second. It took me a couple of minutes to find the cards in the deck. So I didn't really want you to wait for all of that. So let me recap. I thought the world saw me as the emperor, but the, the society actually sees me as the world. Very interesting. Very interesting pairing. Um, yeah. So... I'm not nearly as cold appearing as I suppose I think I am. Um, my, I think my family sees me as the fool, but my family actually sees me as the Queen of Swords. Again, interesting. Very interesting. Especially as... Well, we'll, get, we'll come back to this in a second. Um, I think my friends see me as the Queen of Cups, but they actually see me as a very airy card. Now the Page of Swords, a little bit colder than I think that they, that they see me as colder than I thought they did. <laughs> a little bit more brain-centered than I thought they did. Very interesting. Um, I thought I wanted to be the High Priestess, but apparently I really want to be the Eight of Wands. I want to be active, passionate. I want to be seen as passionate. And I, I can see that. I can see that. I wouldn't have thought of the Eight of Wands, but especially in this deck, the Eight of Wands seems really appropriate. And then, the way I, well, I, the way I think that uh, I really am is the Queen of Swords, but really, I'm the Fool. <laughs> I am the Fool. <laughs> um, so, what do we have? We have my family's perception and my perceptions are crossed over, yeah? I think they think I am the fool, but actually I am the fool. I think that I am the Queen of Swords, but actually that's what my family thinks of me. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. I loved this. This was a lot of fun and a little bit revealing and um, gives me some food for thought. What do you think? What do you, th just seeing me here on the YouTube universe, do you agree with any of this? Do you see this as being correct or relevant? Love to hear from you. Hear, the, hear from you in the comments below. And if you do a hashtag, let me know in the, if you do a VR to this hashtag, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see your take on this hashtag and this VR. So friends, now, as always, I wish you like the video, <laughs> subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and hit the alarm bell because I usually upload videos about once a week. And uh, share this with anyone who you think might be interested or find it 
interesting, funny, educational, good for a laugh? And comment below. I do want to hear from you. And friends, now, as always, I wish you love, joy, well-being, and pure awareness. From the Fool, thank you. Thank you.